welcome back. I ask, as a generous host, what story excites you most? It's time for... The audience decides the story! Yeah. Now I'm gonna present two topics, and whichever gets uh, the most applause, that's the story we're gonna do. So the first option, the US GDP grew 2.9% in the third quarter, showing hope for the economy in 2023 despite recession worries. So just by a show of applause, who wants us to do this story? Right. Second option, scientists say short men have psychopathic and narcissistic tendencies. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? All right, all right, all right. You people are monsters, but story two it is. It's a good thing I'm six foot two. Otherwise, the story might make me uncomfortable. <laughs> but a study out of Poland, yes, it's a poll of poles. Wow sought to investigate if shorter dudes are aggressive and domineering in order to compensate for having to buy shoes in the children's department. <laughs> Researchers tested a few hundred people for the so-called dark triad of personality traits, which are narcissism, psychopathy, and Machiavellianism, i.e. the manipulation and exploitation of others, or as I call it, fun. Turns out a link was found between all three traits and people who were dissatisfied with their height. Hmm, in other words, <laughs> you Polish scientists, you don't know. Do <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah, <laughs> you again. <laughs> That's twice. But, 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 for the American perspective, we go to our height correspondent. Craig, there is no evidence that short men are evil or manipulative or up to no good. And if anyone would like more information, plus tips on crypto, real estate investing, and how to score with women, send $5 to Joe DeVito, care of Fox News, New York, New York. You can't lose. It's guaranteed. Back to you, Greg. Mm. <laughs> Tyrus, I, this begs a question. Why would you do this study is it to show bigotry against short people or the flaws of short people? No, this is, I gotta make a deadline. And uh, <laughs> I've smoked away all my research money. So <laughs> there is no way to do this, we'll call it a survey, without pissing somebody off. Mm -hmm. You give them a pen and a paper and you go out in the street and you go, excuse me, sir, you're short. The conversation's already going downhill from there. Mm -hmm. And then you, they ask you aggravating questions to get you upset. And then you react angrily. Mm -hmm. And then, uh-huh, exactly as I thought. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, these, these are stupid. Mm -hmm. I prepared to talk about fiscal responsibility. <laughs> and I'm so tired of you guys falling for this every time. <laughs> I don't know how many facial expressions I have to make. Apparently, that's the favorite thing about me. <laughs> but when I need you to clap for me, <laughs> Kat got me all the information. We were ready yeah. to talk about fiscal responsibility. We... How long are we going to talk about short mad people? Don't you get yeah. enough yeah. of the short mad yeah. guy? Yeah. Five yeah. nights a week, and one night to talk about fiscal responsibility. Yeah. And the fact, the fact that we would rather talk about fiscal responsibility is definitely not because we're too worried to talk about this in front of a short little vindictive man. <laughs> <laughs> I read this study and I was like, my diary. <laughs> but I wouldn't say that. No. no. <laughs> it's too that was, late. Actually, that's a quote from Emily. She's the best yeah. journalist. Yeah. Emily, Emily wanted me to say that. Uh. She wanted me not to say that. Nobody said that. But we don't keep things from you. No. <laughs> Emily, no longer on the show. <laughs> Dana, could you imagine if they did this story with overweight people who can actually control their variable? Unlike us. I mean, we're born this way. To quote uh, Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm, let's see. <laughs> if they were narcissistic, power-hungry people, yeah, that probably wouldn't work. I do think that this is partly a product of Hollywood. Mm. You know, Tom Cruise is very short. Yes. And I, look, he's like crushing it, right? He's very successful. Mm -hmm. Greg Gutfeld, yes. king of late night. Yeah. <laughs> 
and, and Ollie, not a Scientologist. He's like, yes. All he cares about is that people clap for him just now. <laughs> <laughs> I too prepared for fiscal responsibility, yeah. so I'm struggling. But you know, real quick, I'm sorry, guy, one second. We'll get back to Chris's party. <laughs> this, this pisses me off because you know why Tom Cruise is so successful? Why? Because he needs a big guy to beat up in every movie <laughs> to look strong. Just like the shortest man who's the king of comedy, he's a really large <laughs> sidekick. I see your point. Mm. Yeah, the reason why you don't see him smile is because the shadow behind him <laughs> doing all the work. <laughs> Ridiculous. Wow, there really is a lot of hatred towards the short uh, guy. And this leads me to the biggest question. There is no short person's movement. And it seems to me that I am like, the target of a lot of hate speech around here, mm. right? I feel like there could be threats on my life right well, now. Well, they're inciting violence against you. <laughs> exactly. What we just heard here. Yes. Uh, when I read this story and they ta talked about, what was the term, the dark triad yes. of psychopathy and all this stuff, I said, that actually sounds quite familiar. And I thought they could maybe rename this show Dark Triad exclamation point, because <laughs> it's really hitting a, a number of the points. I will say I don't really know much about this because I'm six feet tall, but uh, for others, mm -hmm. I think it would be unfair to be judged based solely on your height. And in a show of good faith, I will have the bouncer get rid of the height restriction <laughs> at next year's Christmas party. <laughs> the Dark Triad, you know that's where I get my Brazilian. <laughs> Did you ask your parents first? Your fault. Yeah. You walked into it. I'll try Ed anything. <laughs> <laughs> so the next time, kids, yeah. you hear fiscal responsibility, yeah. you clap. <laughs> I gotta go. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.